after much consideration, I've decided to call this video today Excel Catfishing for Beginners. Because if you're one of those people who's put on their CV or their resume proficient in Excel, when you don't possess a single workable Excel skill, then this is the video for you. Because I'm going to show you how you can catfish your manager and give the illusion of many Excel skills, but really ChatGPT is going to be doing all of the heavy lifting. So imagine this scenario. Your manager has come to you with a really messy data set that he's just downloaded from some system. And he wants to analyze this by the end of the day, and he's passed it to you to tidy up all of the data so that it's in a format that can be analyzed. Now, you don't possess a single skill in Excel data cleaning. You don't know what formulas to use. You've never even opened Power Query. What are you going to do? Well, this is where you're going to turn to ChatGPT because ChatGPT can completely transform and clean a data set. All you need to do is upload the file and know what to ask it. So let's walk through a demonstration so you can continue catfishing like a pro. Now, this is the data set that we're going to be using. I've kept it reasonably small for this example. Obviously, these skills translate across two much larger data sets. So we've got about 200 rows of data in here. Now, this data set is not ready for analysis at all. We've got numerous different issues going on here. So let's take a look at these issues first of all, and then we'll get ChatGPT to fix them all. Now, column A contains the employee name. Now, that actually looks fine. However, my manager has said that he would prefer this column to be split up into first name and last name. So that's the first thing we want ChatGPT to deal with. Now, if we take a look at column B, where we have the job title, we've got a few issues going on in here. Can you see that none of the case is consistent? We've got some words in uppercase, some in lowercase. Sometimes we have the entire job title in lowercase or the entire job title in uppercase. Now, what I want is to have the entire column in the same case. And that case is going to be proper case where we just have the first letter of each word capitalized. So I need to get ChatGPT to do that for me because I ain't got a clue how to do that in Excel. Another issue we have going on in column B is that we have some weird spaces going on. So if you take a look in front of HR specialist, we've got this kind of white space gap there. We've also got a really large gap in between project and manager, another one down here, another one down here. So I'm going to get ChatGPT just to remove all of those random spaces. And on the subject of spaces, notice that we have blank rows scattered throughout our data set. Blank rows, always the enemy of a good analysis. So we want to get rid of those. Now, these other columns don't look too bad. Department looks all right. I'm pretty happy with most of these. Salary column, well, we don't really have any number formatting applied over here. So maybe I want to get ChatGPT to just apply a nicer number format. And in column F, you can see that for some people, we have the employment status of intern. Now, that's a bit American for my very British boss. So we're going to get it to find all the instances of intern and replace it with, let's say, apprentice. So I want ChatGPT to do all of this for me. So I want ChatGPT to do all of this for me. And once it's done, I just want to be able to download that data set as a CSV file. So the first step here is we want to make sure that we've saved our messy data file. So make sure you have that saved off because we're going to upload the entire file into ChatGPT. Let's jump across there now. Now, once again, if you've never opened ChatGPT before, just open up a browser of your choice. That might be Edge or it might be Google and go to ChatGPT.com. Now, I'm using Chat 4.0. This is a free version. And at the bottom here, we have our prompt area. Also notice that we have this little paperclip where we can attach a file. So this is where we want to upload our messy data set. So let's click this. I'm going to upload mine from my computer. Here it is just here, messy employee sample data. Let's click on open. So it's loaded it in and I can now type my first prompt. Now, remember, when you're using ChatGPT, it's always good to set a bit of context at the beginning. I'm going to start with a question. So I'm not going to ask it to do anything specific. I just want it to look at the file and let me know what types of things I could possibly do to tidy up this data set. So the prompt, my boss has asked me to clean 
the data in this Excel workbook, but my Excel skills are poor. Can you look through the data in the workbook and let me know what needs to be cleaned up? Let's press enter to send it through and see what ChatGPT comes up with. Now, the first thing it's done is it's basically extracted a sample of the data set. So there it is in the window. And now it's going through and taking a look at the data and giving me some suggestions as to what I might want to tidy up. So if we start at the top here, it says inconsistent job titles. The job titles have inconsistent capitalization and spacing. Yes, they do. Operations manager should be lowercase operations manager. Project manager has extra spaces and inconsistent capitalization. So it's picked up that I have these issues in that job title column, which is perfect. It's checked department names. It can't seem to find too many issues there, which is fine. Higher date format, it says the dates are inconsistent in format and should ideally be standardized. So maybe I have got some mixed formatting in that higher date column. Employment status column, values like intern and part-time should be reviewed to ensure consistency and accuracy. Now, I actually wanted to change the word intern to apprentice, so we're going to deal with that in a moment. Salary. The salary should be consistently formatted, and if it's supposed to represent currency, the values might need further standardization. So again, it's picked up that I don't have any formatting applied to that salary column. And then right at the bottom, it says, I can proceed to clean up these areas for you if you would like. So I could just type in here, yes, please clean up, and it will go away and it will try to clean up the data set. Now, just for this demonstration, I'm going to do these one by one so you can see it actually work through and what it does, because this will highlight any issues that it comes across and how you can fix those issues on the fly. So looking at our data set now, the first thing I want to remove from this data set are all of these blank rows. So I'm going to say, please, can you remove from the data set any blank rows? Let's send that through and see what it does. There you go. It says I've completely removed any blank rows from your data set. And if I just scroll down, I did have a few towards the top here. And yep, I can see that those appear to have been removed, which is perfect. Now, something which I've noticed it does occasionally is it puts in what we call an index column where it numbers each of the rows. Now, that's not a problem. We can always get rid of that at the end. But just be aware that sometimes it will put in this index column for you. Now, what do I want to do next? Well, I want to split up the employee name into first name and last name. So let's ask ChatGPT. Can you please split up the employee name column into first name and last name columns? Let's send it through. Now, it says I've split up the employee name column into separate first name and last name columns. Now, the employee name column has completely disappeared. If I scroll across, do we have our columns? Yes, we do. There they are, first name and last name. Now, I don't want those at the end, so let's see if it can move the last two columns to the front of the data set. Please move the first name and last name columns to columns A and B in the worksheet. Let's see if it can handle that. And there we go. Like magic, it has done it. So now I have my first name and my last name columns at the start just here. The next thing I want to deal with is this job title column because we've got a few things going on here that we want to get rid of. So the first thing I want to do is make the case consistent. Please can you make the case consistent in the job title column? Use proper case. And then I've given it an example. So operations manager where the first letters of each word are capitalized. Let's send it through and see if it can make that change. So it looks like it's finished. Let's scroll across. Yes, I can see the job titles are now consistent. The next thing to do is to remove the erroneous spaces. So let's type in our prompt. Please remove the erroneous spaces from the job title column. That includes leading and trailing spaces. Let's send it through. So really, this whole process is just about knowing what to type. And because it uses natural language, you don't necessarily need to know Excel terms to get it to execute correctly. For example, you don't have to type in that you want a column converted to proper case, which is an Excel term. You could just say you want the first letter of each word capitalized because that's what ChatGPT uses, your natural language, your natural speech. So it makes it super accessible for everybody. Let's take a look now. Yes, it's removed all of those weird spaces in that job title column. Now, one thing it has done when I asked it to 
change these job titles to proper case, you can see now we have HR, but the R is in lower case. Now, that is a consequence of the prompt that we just used. But if we want to get really specific, we could ask it to look in the job title column and change HR to capitalized HR. Let's do that. Why not whilst we're here? Please change every occurrence of HR lowercase to HR uppercase in the job title column. Let's see if it can handle it. Let's scroll across, check it out. This is looking perfect. So I am really happy with what it's done so far. Now, if we scroll across, I can see extension numbers. These are not formatted correctly. So let's change the formatting on this particular column. Now here I'm asking ChatGPT to do a couple of things. So I'm saying, please change the number formatting for the extension number column to text, because these aren't numbers, these are extension numbers. So I'm gonna convert them to text. I want to remove the decimal places as these are extension numbers. And I'd like ChatGPT to add just a small X to the front of each number so that we know that it's an extension number. Let's see if it can handle with all of that. Let's send it through. Check it out. I love this so much. We now have those numbers looking like extension numbers. Let's deal with the higher date column because it did tell me that I had some inconsistencies in this column. So I'm just going to say, please format the higher date column in short date format. And then let's change this to UK date format as opposed to US. So that's going to be DD, MMM, year. Yeah, let's see if it can do it. And if I scroll across, check it out. Now that isn't exactly what I wanted, but that's actually my fault. I typed in the wrong thing. So let's do it again. I'm just going to copy my last prompt. We're just going to modify what we have in there. So let's copy that. I don't need three M's, I need two because I want the month number as opposed to the month name. So let's get it to do that again. And I think this now looks a little bit better. Let's scroll across. Yay, that looks much better. A couple of final things I want to do here. I want to change the employment status. So when we have intern, because that is a little bit American, I want to change this to, let's go for apprentice because I can't think of anything else. So we can just do a simple find and replace here. So I could say, please replace the word intern with apprentice in the employment status column. Let's send it through. Let's take a look. If we scroll across, I can see, yep, that is looking pretty good. The final thing I want to do here is just apply some formatting to the salary column. Now, this time I want to have accounting formatting with a pound symbol and zero decimal places. So please format the salary column as accounting format with a pound and let's just add the pound so it knows what I mean. Zero decimal places. Let's send it through. So now if we scroll across, let's see what we have. That is looking amazing. Now, the final thing I'm going to do here is just get it to check for any duplicates in the data set. And if it finds any exact duplicates, I want it to remove them. So please check the data for any exact duplicates. If you find a record that exactly matches another record, please remove it. Let's send it through. Now I know that there were a couple of duplicates in this data set and if I scroll down, I can see that yes, they've been removed. There was a couple somewhere around here. So this is looking pretty good. Very quickly here, I've managed to tidy up this entire data set without knowing a single Excel function, which is pretty amazing. So now that we have this clean data set, we can export it out to Excel. So we're going to click the little download table button at the top here. It's going to download the data you can see here at the top of my downloads list. Let's double click to open it. And here it is. So let's check it out. Let's double click to open. Everything's looking pretty good so far. If you don't want this index column that it added at this stage, we can just simply delete that out. But I like the way this is looking. However, I can still see a couple of issues. Notice in the higher date column, it's got itself mixed up a little bit here because it's got a mixture of UK date format and US date format. So I'm going to need to deal with this. 
Also notice the other thing that's not quite got right is the salary column just here. Again, we've got this weird A symbol at the beginning here. Now I could use Excel formulas to fix this or I could re-upload it into ChatGPT and, and get it to take a closer look at these two columns. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We now have a data set called employee data without duplicates. Let's close it down. Let's go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to click on attach file upload from computer. And this one is in my downloads folder. So let's grab it. It's that one just there and click on open. So I'm going to say, please, can you format the higher date column in UK date format? I need all dates in this column to be consistent and have the format dd slash mm slash let's do four years let's use the full year so let's see by adding in that i want it to be uk date format that makes a difference let's press enter so it's telling me that we now should have consistency across all dates but we're not really going to know until we put it into excel now the salary column i'm not really sure why we're getting that weird character when we export it out to excel because it's not showing in here however let's just be a little bit more specific so let's say apply accounting style number formatting to the values in the salary column i would like them to have a currency symbol and then I'll put GBP and zero decimal places. Let's see if that different terminology makes a difference. Again, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to tell until we export it out to Excel. Now, in a real world scenario, I'd be pretty happy with the first version that we exported because I would just go in and tidy up those small little errors using Excel functions. But we're doing this from the perspective of somebody who has zero Excel skills. So we're going to try and do all of this or as much as we can in ChatGPT. So let's take a look across here. I'm probably not going to be able to tell the difference from here. No, I'm not. But let's export it out again. So I'm going to download the table. And I can see we still have that weird thing on the salary column, but our higher dates look a lot better. So it's fixed one problem, but this little weird thing here with the salary is not budging. So I have a feeling this has got to do with the pound symbol that we're trying to use. So, so if I really didn't know how to use Excel, what I would probably do at this stage is I would just get it to apply plain number formatting and not bother telling it to add a currency symbol. I can always do that at a later date. So I don't necessarily have to re-upload this file. I can just come back and carry on typing my prompts in. So for the salary, let's say, please remove the accounting style formatting from the salary column. Please format as a plain number with comma style zero decimal places. So hopefully this will remove any of the formatting. We'll just have a plain number with a comma separator in zero decimal places, and then we can apply our own formatting depending on how we want it to look. So let's scroll across. Now that looks a little bit better. So there we have the salary. Now I'm going to download the data set again. And this time when we open it, that looks much better. So I think it was that pound symbol that was causing the issues. So there we have the salary. If I wanted to, I could go in, I could apply accounting formatting from here. I'm going to delete out that first column again. And with my basic Excel knowledge, I just about know how to apply bold to the headers. And like magic, I've managed to catfish my manager into thinking that I have super awesome Excel skills because I've taken his completely messy data set and managed to tidy it all up ready for analysis. What do you guys think of ChatGPT when it comes to cleaning data in Excel? I realize that for advanced Excel users, this probably isn't going to be a great deal of help because we have tools like Power Query or we could even use Excel formulas. And for the majority of us with more advanced Excel skills, that's going to be a lot quicker. But for people who are more at a beginner level in terms of working with Excel, this can be a great option because you don't have to know a single Excel formula or be proficient in Power Query. 
I think it's brilliant. And of course, this is just the beginning when it comes to AI. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this. I'd be really interested to hear. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. It really does help us out and possibly consider subscribing. That's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.